Inflation is on an all-time high right now. We had more than 10% now for multiple months. Especially construction prices. I think we have a, a statistic where construction prices increased by about 25%, like especially steel and wood prices. Michael, how do you think, how did inflation impact the real estate market last year and currently? Uh, it definitely had a very great impact uh, on the real estate market as a whole. I think um, the biggest impact, first of all, was a psychological impact that on the people itself, because I think the people were all, were basically all of us, uh, were caught by surprise. Um, I mean, we had rising inflation all year long in 2022, and this was something new to get adjusted to for the, for the market. So you had definitely a psychological impact that people were waiting and, and seeing what, what would happen. Um, on the construction side, definitely, I mean, this is a problem that we have had not only in 2022, but especially in 2022, that um, we, we saw it with the companies that we are working with, with the construction companies, that there was really a difficulty to fix the prices. So when in uh, the recent years you could fix a construction price with a company, I think this year we definitely saw that um, companies were very cautious and would maybe fix a price for two weeks or three weeks. And we definitely had to take that very deeply in consideration. So I think, yeah, inflation was, I mean, the whole market was hit by inflation and we definitely felt this. Two to three weeks, that's incredible because real estate is a long-term investment. And so we tell the people all the time that they should invest with a long-term horizon. But if you can only fix prices for two, three weeks, how do you deal with this as a property developer? Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a challenge and it was a challenge also in negotiation with the companies. I mean, typically when you do a contract with a, with a construction company, you want to have some time to negotiate, but oftentimes we didn't have this time and, um, because we were told by the companies in, in three weeks we will have a rising price in material X and so there's some uh, we, we had to hurry and um, this was definitely the case in several negotiations and in this case I mean we it wasn't for every material we also see some relaxation in, in some areas but definitely this is something that we have experience in 2022 and that will also continue in the in 2023 in the new year. What we see as well is that more and more construction sites are getting cancelled. There's like a statistic that like the constructions are getting cancelled, it goes through the roof. Do you think inflation inflation is also the reason for that? I, I, I do think it's part of the reason. I mean it's difficult to say. I mean inflation is definitely one of the factors but it's definitely the whole market sentiment that we have. I mean it's definitely from the construction side that we have that it's very difficult for developers to calculate the project costs and that a lot of developers are buying time by just waiting. Uh, and seeing and um, the other side is of course generally the interest um, and buyers market so I think you have a whole market that is very difficult to foresee and to make a long-term decision and I mean by its nature real estate is a long-term decision I mean when you enter into a project it's definitely for a couple of years and um, I think this whole market environment is very difficult to assess and so yeah i mean inflation and everything that comes with it is a major factor uh, for the whole market tobias just said that interest rates are probably not going to come down in the future you mentioned the two rising costs inflation and interest rate it's a difficult question to ask because nobody knows but do you have any idea or how do you deal with inflation going forward? Do you think it's going to come back down or stay like this? I mean, as you said, it's very difficult to, to foresee. Um, in terms of, I mean, what we see for inflation within the construction prices, I, I do see, and that's, I mean, it's, it's um, we talked about this, um, I, th I think a lot of developers are now taking a halt and, and stopping construction. And I mean, ultimately, I think we will see it in the long term. And I think it will happen definitely in the second half of 2023 that a lot of developers who have stopped, um, this will trickle down. Um, and also construction companies and materials 
um, will definitely look for some work. And uh, in the last couple of years, all the companies were uh, construction companies um, were used to always uh, easily uh, getting contracts and finding projects and I think this will change uh, and I think with that there is definitely an opportunity for um, reduction of prices also from the construction side. In terms of interest and inflation um, we definitely have our thoughts on that but it's definitely very difficult to predict. You mentioned more and more properties are getting cancelled or property developments are getting cancelled left and right. In simple economics, if there's less supply of properties, we talk about a bubble later on, but that would mean that prices can't go down or crash, right? I mean, first of all, I think the developers are not necessarily cancelling yet. I mean, there are definitely some projects that have been cancelled, but mostly waiting. But Supply and demand will ultimately, I think, play a role in, uh, in the market. Um, I think that's the basics of economics, also in the real estate market. And I think we will have uh, continuously high demand, especially for very energy efficient and good quality buildings. And I think that uh, the supply will, will um, come down. And with that, I mean, I think there's definitely a chance for a stabilization of prices.